Well done. Let's play up the steps we go again. Ready? Up the steps we go. Ho, ho. Down the steps we thumb. Ho, ho. With your thumb. Well done. Clever girl. G, tick. I first met Anaya about a year ago. She was obviously very gifted musically. She had a little keyboard and she played uh, just with her left hand, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star in different keys, she could transpose it. But she was quite reluctant at first for me to join in. D, up the steps. Oh, you play minor. In minor. Minor, go on then. The first oh. task really for technique was to turn her body round so she was facing the keyboard properly. And then after that to get her to use her right hand and then gradually after that for her to learn what sort of things her right hand should be doing and what sort of things her left hand should be doing. Oh, oh, oh. oh beautiful. Anaya loves to improvise mm. on the piano and, and what she plays as is uh, very much reflects how she's feeling and uh, what's what's in her mind at that point. Play your little finger. Try that one. Oh, that sounds beautiful. I will direct her fingers in a way to develop the technical aspects of her playing for her to be able to play more music. Yeah, I thought it was a great balance between getting her to play a tune quickly and then kind of at the same time gradually introducing technique. Because sometimes I think yeah. focusing only on technique, the child can get disengaged. Yeah. You know? What's that called? She has such a strong idea of what she wants to hear and the music that she wants to make. It's a matter of watching and listening to what she is trying to do and then helping her to achieve that by better technique. <laughs> That's really high. Well done, that's beautiful, that's really hard. Can you play the bass with your left hand? Oh. Now, um, Anaya, can we play this? Come on, you So at one point, I think you played an Urdu song? Yes, we did, yeah, it's a, a koali. At home, she's been brought up listening to all sorts of things, including Bollywood film songs, Indian classical music, koali, Pakistani pop songs. She loves to play melodies from Pakistan because they, they tend to be quite florid and right. she likes highly decorated melodies. Yeah. I guess that feeds into her improvisation. Yeah, very good. It's great being able to draw from the music she listens to at home into her piano lessons. Yeah. So often piano lessons, the music is nothing to do with I anything see, yeah. in real life. Yeah. If she's always using the music that she's really familiar with, it gives her a sense of ownership and empowerment in her own learning. With young blind children particularly, you can't be formulaic. You know, you can't say, oh yeah, this, I use this teaching scheme with my pupils. 
much better to find out where they're coming from musically yes, yeah. and then draw them out through their own yeah. interests. Uh, it's, time, it's time to do... Each child has a, has a unique approach to their music because each child has a different musical background. And I find with uh, visually impaired children, it's so much about listening to them as much as possible, you know, at the beginning, and, and seeing how music is helping them to express themselves. Can you do it? No. Go on! It's very liberating as a teacher because it means that you're diving straight into music itself rather than uh, anything sort of peripheral. It is, as you say, all about expression. Would you, and now, should we play Prelude in C or Prelude in C minor? Prelude in C minor. OK. You ready? Are you going to hold on? I'm going to hold on. Are you going to hold on? I'm going to hold on. OK. <laughs> Something which I often find myself doing is playing a piece of music, and it will often be a piece which is way beyond the technical capability of the child, but encouraging the child to join in with it in some way. Either by improvising with it or playing a particular part of the musical texture within the piece that I'm playing, so that there is that engagement straight away with the excitement of music making. Yeah, and that's one of the other brilliant things about music, is you can actually play a really complicated piece. They can feel they're part of something yeah. much bigger. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can you do it? No! Go on, there we go. <laughs> You need to have a good read of the school's safeguarding policy and if there's any kind of doubts or questions that you have about that, just ask the head of the school. And also, having a good relationship with the child's parents is really helpful and making sure as much as possible that everybody involved in the child's development is aware of what you're doing. Another thing, of course, with traditional teaching, very often we'll learn the notes and then we'll do the expression, which is a very strange thing to do. Yeah. It's rather like yeah. learning to speak in a kind of mechanical way and then we'll put some expression into it. Yeah. Whereas actually the, the desire to communicate something comes first. and then the technical bits actually come afterwards. Yeah. And I think it's the same with the way we approach teaching children, is it's yeah. what is it we want to communicate first, yeah. and then let's find out how technically best to manage that. Yeah. Good. Well done, that's really nice. I wonder what we'll play next. Mm -hmm.